Today, we're covering basic anatomical positions and directional terms, something every sterile processing technician should know. Why is it important? Because understanding how the body is oriented helps you read surgical schedules, handle instrument sets correctly, and communicate more effectively with the OR team. So let's break it down and make this super simple. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Sterile Guy, your go-to source for everything related to sterile processing. I'm Brandon, known as The Sterile Guy. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that button and drop a like if you'd be so kind. Before we get into directional terms, we need to understand the anatomical position itself. This is the standard position used in medical terminology. The person stands upright. Feet are shoulder width apart. Arms are down at the sides. Palms are facing forward. No matter how the patient is actually positioned in surgery, all directional terms refer back to this standard position. This makes sure no matter how the body is positioned, there is a universal language to identify the exact body parts and locations being worked with. Whenever you hear anatomical positions, envision this image to help you navigate. Within this image, you should also know it is broken up by these imaginary cuts that separate front and back, side and side, and lastly, top and bottom. These cuts are also known as planes, the frontal plane, the sagittal plane, and the transverse plane. First, let's talk about anterior and posterior. These are terms you'll hear a lot when dealing with procedures. With the anatomical position, this is the cut down the center of the body, separating the front and the back, known as the frontal plane. Anterior means the front of the body or in front of. Example, in an ACL repair surgery, anterior cruciate ligament, the surgeon is working on the anterior or front of the knee. Posterior means the back of the body or behind. For example, in a posterior spinal fusion, the surgeon is operating on the back of the spine. Now you might say, duh, Brandon, the spine is posterior because it's on the back of the body. This is a good time to let you know everything needs to be in context. If I am referring to the body as a whole, then the backside is posterior, of course. But if I'm referring to the spine itself when I say posterior, like posterior spine, then I am referring to the side of the spine that is furthest back from the body and away from the body. So the spine itself has a posterior side, anterior side, and lateral sides. If you hear anterior approach or posterior approach in a spinal surgery, for instance, now you'll know exactly how they're working. Are they coming at the spine from the back, posterior, or will they be making an incision in the belly in order to work on the spine from the anterior, anterior, posterior? Next up, we have medial and lateral. These tell us whether something is closer to the midline or toward the side of the body. With the anatomical position, this is the cut right down the center of the body, separating left from right, known as the sagittal plane. So this would be the midline, and anything to the left or to the right of it is considered lateral because it is away from the midline. Now when it comes to the extremities, the side closest to the midline, like this side of the arm, will be considered medial. Because of the two sides, that one is closest to the midline. The outer portion would be referred to as the lateral because it is the furthest away from the midline. Medial means toward the midline or center of the body. For example, in a total knee arthroplasty, the medial compartment of the knee is the inner part closer to the other knee because the midline or sagittal plane runs right down between both knees. Lateral means toward the outside, away from the midline. So if something is medial, it's closer to the center. If it's lateral, it's farther out to the side. Hopefully I've cleared that up. Now let's talk about superior and inferior, which describes whether something is above or below another structure. With the anatomical position, this is the cut right through the belly area known as the transverse plane. 
Superior means above or toward the head. For example, in a craniotomy, the skull is superior to the neck because it is on the top, above the neck, according to the anatomical position. This means the skull is further away from the belly. And inferior means below or toward the feet. So for example, in a laparoscopic cholecystectomy procedure, the gallbladder is inferior to the liver because it is below according to the anatomical position. If you remember that superior means higher and inferior means lower, you'll never mix them up. These next terms are super important when describing limbs, proximal and distal. Proximal means closer to the trunk of the body, the trunk being the torso, which is the chest and the abdomen together. Now this is in reference to where the extremity connects to the torso. So for example, let's say we broke our upper arm or the humerus bone. Depending on where we break this bone, we'll describe whether it's proximal or distal. So if I broke my humerus here, that would be proximal humerus because it is the part of the humerus closest to the shoulder, which is closest to the torso. If I broke the humerus here, that would be distal because it is further away from the trunk of the body. Distal means farther away from the trunk. Another example, in finger amputations, the distal phalanges is the tip of the finger because it is the furthest away from the trunk of the body. If you think about it like this, right? It's the furthest away. So when you hear proximal, think closer to the body. And when you hear distal, think further from the body. Last but not least, let's talk about superficial and deep. This one refers to the depth inside the body in relation to the surface of the skin. Superficial means closer to the surface of the body. For example, in a skin biopsy, the cut is superficial, only affecting the top layers of the skin. Deep means further inside the body, which makes sense with the word deep, right? Example, in open heart surgery, the incision goes through the superficial layers, skin and muscle, before reaching the deep structures like the heart. All right, let's do a quick review of everything that we covered today. Anterior equals front or in front of. Posterior is the back or behind of something. Think of frontal plane. Medial equals toward the midline and lateral is toward the side or away from the midline. Think of the sagittal plane. Superior equals above, and an inferior equals below. Think of the transverse plane. Proximal equals closer to the trunk of the body. Distal is further from the trunk of the body. Superficial is near the surface of the skin, and deep is deeper inside the body, more towards like the organs and the bones. Understanding these terms will help you read surgical schedules with confidence, anticipate instrument needs, and communicate more effectively with the surgical team. If you have two surgeries, where one is an anterior approach to the spine and the other is the posterior approach to the spine, they will be using completely different instruments. I hope this breakdown of anatomical positions helps you feel more confident in your role as a sterile processing technician. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss a future upload. Have questions or suggestions for future videos? Drop those in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.